Obstructive sleep apnea, which often comes with severe snoring, is a common but dangerous sleep disorder that involves short periods of stop breathing during sleep. This condition may put people, especially women, at risk for heart problems. NBC Charlotte's Carolyn Brooks shows us what to look out for. Do you live with someone who snores or maybe you're the one who does it? If your snoring is severe, it could actually mean that you suffer from what's called obstructive sleep apnea. It's a common yet dangerous sleep disorder that involves short periods of time where you simply stop breathing and it all happens in your sleep. According to one recent study, this condition may put people, especially women, at risk for heart problems. There are known sex specific differences in obstructive sleep apnea. We know that obstructive sleep apnea is two to four times more common in men than it is in women. But when women become postmenopausal, then our risk for obstructive sleep apnea actually increases. Dr. Rena Mayra of the Cleveland Clinic says sleep apnea risks vary between men and women. Results from the latest study reveal a startling find. The hearts of participants who reported obstructive sleep apnea or snoring showed an increased thickness in the left ventriloquial wall, the heart's main pumping chamber. But here's the thing, the difference in thickness was greater for women. This new study looks at data on more than 4,800 people, and the doctor says the results suggest that changes in the hearts of the snoring group could be an indication of undiagnosed obstructive sleep apnea. She says most people aren't aware of the escalating risk of this obstructive sleep apnea women face as they age. The doctor says the increase that occurs postmenopause could be because of hormonal changes, but could also be a result of functional changes in the upper airway. If you or a loved one snore heavily, the doctor recommends getting that checked out by a sleep expert. Obstructive sleep apnea is more than just snoring. It has detriment on quality of life and our heart health. So those are the two big reasons to treat it. The good news is there are several treatments available for sleep apnea. You just have to make sure you get it diagnosed so it doesn't cause health problems for you in the future. Carolyn Brooke, NBC Charlotte.